guys, welcome to San Hello guys. Hello guys, this is Andrew from Samuel Apps and today we're going to look at converting a NS date to a string and then finally converting a string to a NS date. So first of all, to convert a NS date to a string, we're gonna go let date equals NS date. And whenever this view controller is run and loaded, this will store the most current state, whatever the date is now. Then we're going to go let date formatter equals NS date formatter, the brackets. And we are going to do date formatter dot date format equals DD in lowercase for day dash MM for month in uppercase. And then finally YYYY for year in lowercase. Then we're going to do let string date equals date formatter dot string from date. And the date will be date. And we'll print out this string date. So let's run that. Let's see it convert the current date to a string. Okay, so we can see our app running now. And it converts the NS date to the string with this specific format here which is day day, then with the character dash, the month, which is the fourth of the year, which is 2016. So I'll show you how to convert a string back to a NS date, and then finally explain how this date formatter works. And to convert a string to a NS date, we're going to do let date string equals the 20th, of the third slash 2016. The 20th is the day, the third is a month, and 2016 is a year. And then since we've already got a date formatter declared, we just reuse it. And since we've already got a date formatter declared, we simply reuse it using date formatter dot date format equals DD, this time we do a forward slash, then the month, then the year. So DD means the day, MM means the month, and YYY means the year. So these are all code words for the way it's formatted. So I'll show you a list of how to get the code words at the end of this. And then we do let date from string equals date formatter dot date from string and then in this string we use date string and finally we'll print out the date string to the console now let's run that and see what happens oops i'll just change the print to date from string i got the wrong one in there Okay, so we can see it prints out the string as an optional. The date is the year 2016. The month is a third. And the day is the 19th. When we put in 20th, so that's a bit strange. And after this, you've got our hours and minutes, which is a default since we didn't specify it. So you might be wondering, why is it returning the 19th for the day when we specified the 20th? And the reason for this is by default, the date formatter time zone follows your local iOS device time zone. So your local iOS time zone. And this date string comes from NS date, which follows the GMT plus zero time zone. So that's why it's off a bit. So to resolve this, just as an example, you can put in date formatter 
dot time zone equals ns time zone brackets abbreviation and the abbreviation we're going to use GMT plus zero colon zero zero and finish that statement off the brackets and now let's run this now okay now we can see we've got the 20th here which is correct for our date stream just keep in mind if you're making an app all your users are going to be in different time zones so you may or may not want this depending on what your goal is if you want to show a time that is local to their time zone then you don't want this in there as it uses their ios setting for the time zone by default however you if you want to show them a time from a specified time zone you'll use this so that take convert a ns state to a string and a string to a ns state and for those format settings i was telling you about there's an article on the CMO apps website that actually tells you what all of those codes mean so the format we are using we have yyyy which is year with four digits we have capital m so for the month two capital m's is a numeric month for the year it is always two digits it's got an example input you might give it and the output so the output is the format it's expecting for this so 06 01 etc dd is a day of a month with two digits and pads with zeros if necessary so it will always be two digits long whereas if you use 1d it can be a day of the month however you can be one digit as you can see five here and 27 here so i'll leave the link to this in the description below and you can also download the source code below Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.